Just months after VCU released a revised crime report showing a significant increase in rapes on campus in 2022, VCU students are looking for ways to feel safer after someone was sexually assaulted on campus last week. 8 News reporter Sierra Krug joining us live with how that may happen. Sierra. Well, Eric, I'm here outside Cabell Library. Now, the incident happened between 6 and 7 o'clock last Friday night, so the amount of light you see here behind me probably pretty accurately reflects what it looked like. Now, according to VCU police, the crime started here, but the actual assault didn't quite happen here. It only takes a few steps to go from a well-lit central part of VCU to darker, unmarked alleys in the vast city of Richmond. This does change how I feel, honestly. Students like Ava DeCourcy were frightened to hear what happened near Cabell Library last Friday between 6 and 7 p.m. I was pretty shocked. A trip to the library turned dark when two strangers began following a victim, leaving the popular VCU study spot. The suspects trailed the victim for some time before cornering and sexually assaulting them in an alley between West Franklin and West Gray Streets. There are some times where I have to stay late at the library and as a woman having to leave by myself, um, definitely don't like having the risk of being assaulted. Um, on my mind. One of the suspects was described as a 40 to 50 year old man with a gray beard, the other in their late teens to early 20s with sandy blonde hair. Now this incident happening just months after VCU released a revised crime report showing a significant increase in on-campus rapes in 2022. The count reaching 19 on the school's Monroe campus, that's more than triple the year prior. DeCourcy says she generally feels pretty safe on campus during the daytime, but as night settles in, things can get scarier. Having security here posted up at all times, honestly, because um, when I hear about stuff like that, my mind goes, oh no, that's terrible. Okay, but like, what can we do to solve this? The sophomore promotes learning self-defense as a protective strategy. No matter how it happens, she's hoping for change. Something needs to be done.